हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज उदय पंडित एंड यू आर वाचिंग एम टेक्निकल वर्ल्ड इफ यू गाइस आर नॉट एट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकन सो यू विल गेट माय अपकमिंग वीडियोस इन दिस वीडियो विल टॉक अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ एम इंजीनियरिंग सो लेट्स स्टार्ट इट बेसिकली वॉट इज एम इंजीनियरिंग सो एम इंजीनियरिंग विच इंक्लूड्स mechanical electrical and plumbing services for number of facility ranging from residential to commercial building shopping malls housing compounds hotels resort including towers now come to mep services so mep is the abbreviation of mechanical electrical plumbing mechanical service consist of hvac system so that is heating ventilation and air conditioning system including heating and cooling now come to electrical service so electrical service consist of lighting power outlet st and lt power distribution extra low voltage systems like cctv fire alarm system public addressing system finally building management system and next plumbing services so it consist of water treatment plant cold and hot water supply waste water drainage system rain harvesting system waste water management system and fire fighting systems now let's talk about each services one by one now come to mechanical service that is hvac system so full form of hvac is heating ventilation and air conditioning this system controls the humidity temperature air flow and ventilation inside the building hence human feels comfort inside the building hvac system includes chiller vrf split ac hu cooling towers fcu fresh air units exhaust unit system etc now let's come to hvac system example so this is the air cool chiller and this one is the water cool chiller and here this is the cooling tower and vrf exhaust unit and a split unit system this one is indoor unit this one is outdoor unit of split system and this is the fcu which is fan coil unit as you can see in this room this is the fcu grill so through which we can control the temperature and humidity of the room with the help of thermostat now come to next service which is electrical service so electrical service consist of power supply and lighting system including 11 kv pole mounted substation diesel generator ups st and lt distribution panel earthing and lightning protection and extra low voltage system in the building extra low voltage system consist of fire alarm system security system cctv public addressing system and building management system now let's talk about its example now i am going to discuss about power distribution system in the building so initially we have taken a power from city line which is 11 kva with the help of st cable and it is connected to pcb panel which is st panel high tension panel and again its output is connected to primary side of transformer and this transformer is stepped down to 440 volt which is fed to ats panel now due to interruption of city line we have to install dg or emergency power we can say emergency power so this is the 500 kva dg as you can see in this picture this is the dg and again its power is fed to ats panel so at a time only one power is fed to this main distribution board or we can say lt panels even we can say mdb and from here power can distribute to each level of smdb that is sub main distribution board so this is the sub main distribution board 
for this distribution board we can distribute the power to each room db so this is the room db from here we can operate the lights of room and power outlets so this is the lighting system in the lobby or this is the power outlet so this is the ups with the help of it we can operate emergency load like emergency lighting system emergency equipments like a elevator or server and finally this one is extra low voltage system which is fire alarm system whenever building got fire a smoke detector or heat detector detects the fire or a smoke and send the signal to fire alarm control panel it gives alarm and display the message where actually got fired according to that we can evacuate the building so this is all about electrical system now next is plumbing service so plumbing service consists of raw water treatment plant distribution of cold and hot water drainage of wastewater sewage treatment plant rain water harvesting system and fire protection system in the building so this is the plumbing system example actually how the distribution of water actually done in the building so initially raw water is taken from deep boring with the help of bore well or we can say submersible pump with the help of this pump we can feed the to our raw water tank and this raw water is treated by or filtered by this water treatment plant so this is the view of water treatment plant where water is get filtered and again filtered water is fed to treated water tank again this treated water is filtered by ro treatment plant after this this treated water is become a drinkable water so we can use this water to our kitchen and also for drinking purpose if you talk about distribution of treated water system in the building so here we have a hydro pneumatic system actually it maintains the pressure inside the building and this is the heat pump so actually heat the treated water and send to the buildings so this is the basic overview of water distribution system in the building or we can say in the residential houses actually this green pipe is cold water line and red pipe is hot water line so both line is actually connected to our basin bathtub and to our shower as you can see in this picture here only cold water is connected to our cistern for flushing it this is the overview of water distribution system in the building or houses now come to plumbing drainage system so this is the basic overview of multi story drainage and venting system in this we have a plumbing accessories like basin bathtub and w sheet so here we can see this black one pipe is waste line so this black one pipe is waste line for basin another waste line pipe is for bathtub and w sheet or we can say soil waste line also so this system are in east floor we can see in this picture so this all waste water or soil waste is drain from this this drain pipe is connected to our sewage treatment plant which is actually filtered the waste waters and again it used for flushing or gardening purpose now come to plumbing fire fighting system so this is the basic view of fire fighting plant here we can see there are diesel pumps jockey pumps and hydrant pumps over here so this is the basic view of fire fighting system layout suppose we got a fire in the building at level 5 if we use the fire hydrant at that time at level 5 this jockey pump and electric pumps get starts and hence we can 
extinguish the fire at that floor even if temperature get above like 50 to 60 degree celsius a sprinkler got trusted and hence this sprinkler also helps to extinguish the surrounding fires so this is the basic operation of fire fighting systems now come to next rainwater harvesting system so this is the basic view of rooftop rainwater harvesting system during the raining we can store it and later we can use it for daily life purpose and another usage of rainwater harvesting system is recharge the underground water so during the raining this water is drained out to recharge well as we can see over here this is the recharge well it is made up of boulder coal and aggregates this water is drained out to here with the help of rain water drain pipe and with the help of this we can recharge the underground water hence it increase the level of underground water system so this is all about MEP services hope you guys are better understand about this topic so thank you for watching this video hope you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos related to electrical plumbing HVAC as well as AutoCAD drafting. So thank you very much. See you again in next video.